Hello everyone, so before I begin this little show and tell, I would like to say that Warframe content is kind of slow at the moment and it's hard for me to bring out anything interesting that isn't just covering patch notes and um, stuff like that. And as my interest for the game is still quite high, I have nothing really to cover on my channel um, Warframe wise that hasn't already been covered a hundred other times by most well known YouTubers like Brozine, Tactical Potato, stuff like that. You know, um, the Atlas cast, its cast skin, um, the reskins of the, uh, the spiders and Fortuna now in planes called thumpers they kind of behave the same they look the same um so like warframe wise there's not much for me to do usually then you know I, I like to cover things that most people don't uh like funny little builds things that people overlook in the patch notes and stuff like that um obviously i still really enjoy playing the game it's just there's not much as for a player that's basically been all done all kind of thing to to put out and show other other players um, so today I want to show you a Zor build that I have, uh, build it myself, um, I like put the mods on, I didn't really follow any guide kind of thing, I just sort of went, hey, screw it, I'm just going to make my own build and this is it. So this build is um, really, oh, first of all actually, I'll start with what it's, what it's made of. So it's made of Equana 2 Jai, uh, the Detat, which is the, the, the harpoon looking thing, and the Plague Bot Queen, I think. The Plague Botquin is just cosmetic and it ha maybe has a few stat changes, like minor minor improvements or alterations. Um, if you was to build it yourself without the uh, the event on, you could just use the Botquin. Obviously, this build in no way, I want to say now, is accessible to the mo most most audiences, most people, uh, unless you've got every kind of mod in the game. It's ridiculous, i.e. Maiman Strike, i.e. the Primes, um, also the Riven, um, which is the whole reason I can make this kind of kind of build. Um, so with this build, I've kind of gone two the the two ways you can kind of build melee weapons, which is i.e. crit and can or crit and status with condition overload. Um, I'll quickly show you an example of two before I talk about the mods. So this is my other Zor. Uh, this one is Equana Two Giant Play Botquin Play Crit Path, which gives me the viral on top of the corrosive that I can add to it. So with this. Uh, this is very standard, you know, you have four dual stat elements to bring you up to 100% status, condition overload, uh, prime reach, prime fury, and prime pressure point. Obviously, you can swap these out for reach, fury, and pressure point. Um, but this is very, very, very standard. You have the three utility, the, the elements, and then condition overload to wrap the whole thing up nicely. You know, you're hitting ridiculous numbers. Not critting so much, but that's fine. Um, and then I'll show you quickly a crit build weapon so you have the galaxy and the paracesis um so the paracesis is fairly standard it's blood rush with the 150 percent crit chance berserker which is preferable you could have body count on there i just like berserker because i like slicing really quickly um it also looks really cool with the tempo royale organ shatter critical damage for take strike to that element uh obviously there's so much stuff you could put on here i just put you know Prime Fever Strike, why not? And Voltaic Strike. Uh, Prime Fury for its attack speed. And this this is your standard crit build. Okay, this is like, you know, I'm hitting 30% chance, but actually really it's more than that. Uh, could have Mamie Strike on here as well to buff those up, make some red crits. It's, it's pretty pretty juicy. Um, but this build, this, this uh, Poon, as it's called, the Harpoon, I, I think this is ridiculous. Um, you can hit red crits, and you're also stacking some some serious damage with condition overload. Um, obviously, I'm sacrificing a lot of things that make both the builds good, um, both like crit and status, really really good. However, I feel like this is just ridiculous. So starting with the Riven, 83% status chance, which kind of replaces the other dual stat element uh, and gives it a little bit more. Um, not as much as obviously four dual stats, but enough. Critical damage 90%, which is very, very disgusting. Uh, 3.8, obviously, if you combine that with Organ Shatter, that would be even great. Like I said, I'm sacrificing things from both builds, but, you know, 90% critical damage, 90% critical damage, plus I'm getting all this other stuff. 86.4% um, Toxin, which then couples with Voltaic Strike. So this is acting as my critical damage, status chance, and um, secondary element with dual stat kind of thing going on the only negative to this ribbon of course is the minus five to nine five point nine seconds combo duration which i have added body count in to increase that because when you're in a survival you want to kind of have the 
the combo duration up really high because this is what the build relies on. Maiming Strike, this could also be swapped out again for something, you know, Organ Strike, Organ Shatter. Um, it is destructive, this build. It's absolutely destructive. Uh, Prime Fury and Prime Pressure Point, obviously, I can't have Prime Reach. I would love to have it, but it's, you know, there's, there's only eight slots here that I can put stuff on. Um, so showing you the build and what it can do, it's... It kind of does what the uh, the other Zor does, but not as effective. However, I can red crit, which is pretty, pretty disgusting. So first of all, I will show you five corrupted heavy gunners at level 140. Um, I'm just going to swipe at them for a bit and see, like you can see, kind of see like, the crit and the, the damage as it scales up. Hit an 8k there. So I'm hitting quite low, but as the combo duration in the bottom right goes up, I'm hitting higher and higher. 18k there, 16k. So you get through them, and obviously I'm applying status. And these are level 140, so they are absolutely tanky as all hell. Uh, it's pretty destructive, <laughs> as you can see. Obviously it takes a little while to get going, as with the other build. But it's fine. It doesn't quite do it as effectively, but as you'll see, I've sacrificed that out for something that I feel that is really, really cool. Uh, so if I quickly re-simulate... So when I hit them twice and I get the combo duration going up a bit, I can now slide attack with Mamie Strike. And I can start hitting red crits. Now obviously as I keep the combo combo multiplier going, it goes up and up and up. So if I hit them a few times, hit these ones, kill them. Right, and then I slide into these. I'm hitting some seriously big numbers. And they, they it gets higher and higher and higher as you get as you continue to keep your multiplier going obviously the body count is helping out a lot here but it's just pure destruction there you go 20k another 24k 48k right there so you can kind of see what the, the damage is doing um obviously it, it, it relies on the combo which the combo multiplier which is a uh, it runs out quite fast but obviously body count is kind of vital here with the riven but it's this is just my little show and tell for a Zor build that I, I made myself and obviously when you get to that point in the game when you can start building stuff yourself and having fun with it um, I feel like that's when Warframe is at its best obviously you can go on YouTube and find some cool builds I just wanted to show you my own little one that I made myself and I think it's really really good <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you again soon peace